Good morning, Alta Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the Director of Training and Marketing here at Alta Realty Group. And today we're going to go into an in-depth look at the agent marketing system, um, as well as Breakthrough Broker. So um, everybody at this point does have a, uh, an agent marketing account. And so now it's time to start to really use these tools um, so we can go ahead and get more business. Um, so first thing I wanted to do is to go into, I know uh, most of you do have a property into, in, your, uh, in your dashboard now. So as an example, we're gonna look at Marcella's and here's a new listing that she's got. So in with whenever you create a, uh, a property profile, first of all, um, as long as your automation is been enacted t about 24 hours within about 24 hours of uploading your uh, listing into the MLS and uh, you know, obviously you've got to have your images in there all that good stuff but the agent marketing system will read that and it will create a property website for you as well as marketing materials so let's take a look at what that looks like so of course, um, once that comes into your dashboard here, your property's dashboard, you can, it'll just be automatic, but you can always take a look by, take, by going and editing. And so I always recommend that you go through, make sure all the info is, is correct, even though it did get pulled from the MLS. Um, make sure everything looks good. Go to the property, make sure the description looks good. Make sure you always have a title. Sometimes um, it won't populate a title, so make sure that that's in there. Um, then we can take a look at the website options. Of course, you can uh, select a different domain trunk. They've got all these different little domains that you can select from. There's no right or wrong one. I kind of like, you know, is now for sale or um, uh, needs to sell or, you know, uh, quick buy me. Some of those little kind of fun ones really doesn't matter much at all. But anyway, make sure that you've got your uh, trunk domain uh, selected, of course, the first part's going to be the uh, the property address. And for some reason, um, this particular property address came it came in with two different addresses. Not sure how that happened, but anyway, you can go ahead and you can make uh, changes here. Make sure everything looks good. Uh, meta title, meta description doesn't really matter too much, to be very honest. Um, pop up controls. We can, you know, uh, some people don't realize that. Uh, we have a little pop-up that you can have. You can, you can uh, have an optional form or a required form. So if somebody's viewing your property website, you can make sure that you require that they fill out a form. Um, two different w schools of thought, but uh, you know sometimes that's a good thing. Um, or an optional is a little bit less intrusive, so you can select that. And then, of course, they've got the different layouts for these property websites. My favorite currently is this layout 16. 17 is also nice, very clean. Um, these are okay as well, but now we're down in here in layout 13 and 12. That's now we're kind of getting into their older stuff, which is a little bit cheesy. And then um, these down here, you know, there's probably a couple good ones. Uh, layout 9 is kind of nice, but to be honest, my favorites are these two. So. Um, I, I suggest you go with these two. Then, of course, you can go to the options here, and you can even, you know, give the homeowner login information if you want it. I don't really see a need to do that, but that's there if the homeowner is really hands-on, wants to be involved. You know, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Sometimes those guys, they really, really want to get involved. So, um, all good stuff there. Um, you can also re-pull from the MLS. So what happens sometimes is you can go in, create a property profile um, before your listing hits the MLS. Sometimes you want to do that as part of a listing presentation. Sometimes you want to do that just to get some pre-marketing done. So you can, uh, once you know your profile is in there, you can re-pull, you can click, uh, click this little re-pull from MLS button and it'll go out and anything that you did put into the MLS, it'll update it. So a kind of a nice little uh, system there. Uh, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was, let's go back to our properties. And the next thing I want to talk about <clears throat> is this sharing button. I think most of you have found this by now. It makes it very easy to just share this property on Facebook. It'll automatically connect. You can, of course, share it on your timeline or on a page that you manage. In most cases, you're going to want to do both. But a page that you manage, 
in this case I'm doing it to alter realty group and you know what we're gonna go ahead and just post it for fun post Facebook done deal um, same thing goes for Twitter Google plus LinkedIn Craigslist is a great one too um, I'll show you a different way to do the Craigslist um, email the listing directly to a, a client that you know might be interested very very simple um, and I, I really really hope you guys are using these tools they're just too easy to use so close that up uh, next thing I wanted to look at was the reports um, right next to the sharing so the reports this is pretty cool you can you can create a feedback survey um, for open houses you can create a feedback survey for that property and you can send it to other realtors um, you can also create a CMA report directly from this and I think I've already requested one. Let me click on it. Yeah, so this is, let's see it. Okay, yeah, so it actually already uh, populated this. What happens is when you click on uh, make a comparative uh, marketing analysis, it will kind of put it in the queue and they say that it could take up to three hours to get it across. I literally did this this morning, so it only took maybe like a half an hour. So let's click next or proceed. And we're going to be getting a uh, comparative listings find by property distance. So this is a quarter mile, probably good to keep it, you know, a quarter mile or less. Really depends on your population of the, of the city that you're, you're dealing with. Um, so we're going to pull from the MLS, from CRMLS in this case. Um, and we can go ahead and just generate. So now the CMA re report is okay so it is still in the queue but anyway a quick way to do a CMA you know um, cloud CMA is probably a little bit better but this at least has that functionality if you wanted to try it so going back to our property profile uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is and I guess I didn't click on the, the feedback this is kind of cool though you can add a new one you can do the date of the showing, the time of the showing, office name, agent name, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if it was a showing or an open house, you can select either one. Let's say this was a showing, and we'll just put in some dummy info. Let's say noon, Alta, all oh, that's fine. Agent name, we'll just put my name. save it and now we can send that via email as long as I've got an email for this particular person and they will get a uh, feedback survey about that property so kind of fun to play around with um, going back to the list and back to our uh, okay, this is kind of fun as well but using this shop feature um, I don't know many agents that are using this but if you did, you know, you don't have a good local printer, they actually do do printing here. So you can have them print postcards, you can have them print the sign riders, bottle labels, door hangers, so on and so on. So, um, you know, uh, try that out if you don't have a good local printer. That's a pretty easy deal. Let me go back to the list here. And this is actually uh, the tool, that's the shop. The tools are pretty cool. This is the open house uh, date uh, function. So if you have an open house, you wanna go in here and you wanna put in the date of the open house. What that will do, and we'll just do a little test here. Let's say that we've got one Saturday from 1 p.m. to, let's say 4. And we just say save. So now if we go back to our property and we open this up, we've got open house information right here. Very, very slick, very, very cool. So definitely if you're having an open house, use that. Boom, now you can add it to your, or the, you know, the uh, agent or the uh, prospect can add it. There, there, there are different calendars that they've got. So just makes it very, very slick. And you look cool too. 
utilizing this kind of uh, technology is going to, you know, make you look very, very sophisticated in the eyes of your seller. So utilize the tools. Um, next thing I want to take a look at was in tools again. Um, so much cool stuff in here, guys. Just take a look at all this stuff. But again, um, adding a floor plan, not a bad idea. Um, you can also create a listing presentation directly from here. Again, you can just, you know, before you get the listing, you can put all the information on the home, put it in there, and it'll spit out a listing presentation. Um, property e-card, same thing. Um, super, super uh, helpful and useful stuff. And then right here, uh, you know, property links, you can just send yourself the links. These are all the links. Of course, if you guys are um, on the automation, which most of you should be, if you're not, talk to me, um, this information will get emailed to you automatically. But if for some reason you didn't get the email, you can just go there. Again, this is in tools. Let's just tools down here, property e-card, property links, sharing, all this stuff, very, very easy to do. Um, and so this is the listing presentation. Of course, another way to make listing presentations is to go to flip shows under personal. So in flip shows, you can customize listing presentations. You can make as many as you'd like. Um, you can view them or you can go ahead and uh, go to the individual pages and you can edit. So this is where you would edit those. If you don't like the, uh, the, the uh, image, you can click, you know, change the image. You can change, you know, they call it the background, of course. So very, very easy to create a completely personalized, customized listing presentation. So please use these as well. They look great and your clients will love you for that. Oops. Okay, so those those are kind of the, the bulk of the tools that I wanted to show you with uh, with the agent marketing system. Um, then last week we had uh, Michelle from Tycor uh, uh, give us this lovely product, Breakthrough Broker, and so this was I was really really impressed with with this system. And so if you don't have a free account, just contact Michelle Denise. Um, again, I will, I mean, you can just send me a text. I'll get you the info. Her contact info is on the, uh, on, on the, the replay video that I sent out last week. So you can just check your email, uh, grab her information, contact Michelle and get set up with Breakthrough Broker. So um, Breakthrough Broker, really, really cool. Um, the brochures, I think, are very, very slick. So, no oh, wants me to log in again. Okay. So these brochures, very, very cool. They've got a couple different styles. Let's just go into the modern series. Take a look at how we use these. Um, so boom, get started. Easy enough. All this stuff is editable, but it has a good clean look. So green, not really our, our style here at Alta Realty Group. So black or gray, probably a little bit more uh, Alta Realty Group style. Then we go ahead and just click this edit button. And now we can edit whatever we want. We don't like the background. We can change that. Of course, you're going to want to put in an image of the house that you are selling. Um, that looks pretty good. Date and time for open house, get that information, name and title, all that stuff. It'll auto populate, you know, once you, you go in and fill out your, uh, if you fill out your, your profile properly, let's just take a look at this real quick. If you fill out your profile properly, all this stuff will auto populate all the stuff that you're doing. So I encourage you all to get your profile dialed in perfectly. That way you can go ahead and make these beautiful marketing materials within minutes. Super easy. Um, let's see. 
Okay, so getting back to, oops. There we are. Okay, so same thing. Make sure all this stuff is good. If you wanna change it out, you can change it out. You can upload, crop it, delete it, all that good stuff. Makes it simple. Uh, make sure you, all your property information is, is perfect. Property photos, you don't like the photos, let's go ahead and, and change them. Makes it really easy. I know uh, Larissa and Anna, we've been searching for a really slick and easy way for you guys to make your own stuff. I think you're gonna like this one. So check it out. Um, again, super, super easy. Just make sure everything's looking good. Save it and away we go. Let's just call this one test modern. So now we can share it, we can print it, ship it. Um, most thing, most cases, what you're going to want to do is just download that and send it to your printer as a PDF or print it yourself, do whatever you want with it, email it, all that good stuff. So uh, definitely utilize the Breakthrough Broker, check it out, see if it's, it's something that you like. I think it's something that most of you are going to want to use. And so I encourage you all to use it. Um, so once, let's see, all right. We can even give it a little preview. Looks good. It's slick, you know. That's better. Okay. Um, so getting back to here, let's go to marketing. And so that was the brochures. Same thing with postcards, door hangers all that kind of stuff. Open house resources, this is kind of fun. Um, you know, we've got some pretty good open house uh, stuff with the agent marketing system, but check these out as well. These are all pretty cool. A lot of different designs as well, which is really cool. And then um, listing presentations, buyer presentations, go through all this stuff. What I wanted to go through kind of today that I spent a little time with was the social media graphics. So this is something that I know everybody struggles with. You know, how the heck do you uh, come up with good social media stuff? What the heck do you post? They've got some really good, you know, you know, easy to share stuff for Instagram, for Facebook, uh, kind of a retro look. I don't really like that one, but um, a lot of different stuff that you can use and create very, very simple uh, things for social media. So let's just go ahead and, and take a look at this classic Instagram post. So again, we just click the get started button, same kind of functionality. You know, we can go in, we can edit all of this different stuff. And then this we can download as uh, a perfect uh, Instagram post. So we want to make sure that we're posting this stuff to Instagram, to Facebook, all of our social media outlets, and also, of course, uh, emailing information directly to clients that we know are interested in this particular style of house. So check that out. Also very, very cool. Um, let's go back to social media graphics. And so let's see what the, the, uh, the pay, Facebook one, same kind of deal. But they, got a, they make it a little bit more snazzy. This, I don't know, this is a little bit, a little crazy for me. So let's, let's see if they have a little bit more of a normal one. Ah, much better. So again, play with these, find, find the ones that you like. Um, does anybody have any questions? Of course, we've got the, the chat feature. Um, you can ask any question you want. I can go over anything you like. Of course, you should also schedule time with me one on one and we can make sure that we get uh, all of the specific stuff to you. All right, so we're going to kick out of here. Door hangers. 
I was talking to one of our agents about door hangers. I think that was Michelle. Team branding, very, very cool. And then Michelle touched on this as well. They do have all kinds of Spanish marketing materials. So that's something that I've been struggling with is trying to you know, create some really cool marketing materials for Spanish speakers. Of course, being in, in California, it's a huge market for us and something that we, we wanna be able to uh, you know, get uh, Spanish information out to our, our Spanish speaking clients. So um, check out all these, these are great. These are fun to, to post on social media as well. If not social media, then you, know, you can send them directly to some of your Spanish speaking clients. Uh, but great information here. Uh, Self-promotional brochures, that's kind of like the, you know, um, you would do a mailer or even social media pieces and they would be, of course, just, you know, promoting you or your team. Um, so that's a fun one to go through. Letterheads, you can create your own letterhead, especially for you guys that are, um, have your own team and have some of your own branding. That's great and click create your own letterhead. Uh, special occasion postcards, just super, super easy stuff, guys. And it just, as, as you can see, they make it super easy for us to just, you know, create uh, very, very good looking marketing pieces uh, in a very short period of time. So please check this out. I'm starting to use this. Um, I know you guys are going to find it easy. So check them out. Michelle is a wealth of information as well. Her contact information is right here, of course. Um, but again, I will be sending her contact information out with the replay of this video. So we're gonna cut this one a tiny bit short, unless anybody has any other questions. You guys, thank you so much for joining us again today. And please contact me with questions. Please let's use these uh, marketing materials so we can all become successful. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you next week.